what's on this tab, the total of all my income. So later on, that will include possibly multiple different things on this worksheet and possibly other worksheets like a Schedule C, Schedule E, which I will put on their own worksheet and whatnot, or I'll put dividend income and whatnot possibly on this worksheet. So it might not tie exactly into the tax return system. That's in essence, if you look at the tax return, that's kind of what they're doing in that the income line item, all of this stuff is on the face of the, of the statement, which is kind of funny but they kind of put the interest on a separate tab if it's over a certain dollar amount that's going to be schedule b that flows in to the formula that's right and then you've got the schedule c which is a separate worksheet that flows in to the schedule one and then to the form 1040 so we're not going to mirror like the schedule one the schedule c to the schedule one we're just going to but we're going to make a similar format in that we'll say that the 1040 is is the parent or, or the, the summary, and then we'll make a separate worksheet to break out the detail. And that again, that'll be, we'll try to make it a combination between being simple for the data input, so I can double data input, and, and uh, but also complex enough that it helps us to give us that double check of the data input, right? Which is a, a tricky kind of balancing act. Okay, so then we're gonna say that's the income line item. The next line item, is going to say I'm going to say minus in my cells. It's going to be the adjustments to uh, income, and so I'll make this one a little bit larger, be a little bit larger, and then this is going to pull from a, another worksheet, which I'll say is adjustments to income. But I don't want to add that worksheet just yet, so I'm just going to put zero here because in our example problem, there were no adjustments to income. So, so I don't have anything in that line item. So as we do, we will build another worksheet and pull it in like we did with this one. But for now, I'll leave it as is. Home tab, font group, underline, that's gonna give us equal to, I'm gonna say equal, it's gonna try to say a formula, but I'm just gonna say tab so it doesn't do a formula. That's gonna give us the adjusted gross income, otherwise known as AGI. I'll make column B a little bit larger. And so it's gonna be here. This will be equal to the 100,000 minus the adjustments. So there we have that. And then we're gonna subtract out the greater of, greater of, boom. So by the way, where are we at in our, here, we're right here. So now we have the adjusted gross income we had the adjustments to income up top. Did I name it the same? Adjustments to income or the above the line deductions, you might call them sometimes schedule one deductions now. Uh, and then, and so now you have the greater of the itemized or standard deductions.